Hello everybody, I'm David Geisler and this is the Technophiles MarsCast. I'm kidding, but we are talking about Mars a lot lately. Hey everybody, I'm David Geisler, this is the Technophiles Newscast, and the 3D Printed Habitat Design Challenge has announced a winner. Now, you may remember back in May, actually, in episode 75, click here if you want to go check that thing out first and then come on back, but in that episode we actually talked about NASA announcing this competition. We were getting pretty excited back then because part of the competition was that companies needed to um, create designs that used materials that were indigenous to Mars or highly recyclable, that kind of thing. It kind of seems like a tall order, but it turns out that there were 165 applicants. Awesome. And of those 165, three have now been awarded first, second, and third place. The team that got third place was Team Lava Hive, and they had an idea to take inflatables and coat them in lava. The second place team was Team Gamma, and they had an idea to take inflatable structures and put them down in craters. But the idea that actually got first place was the Ice House. The Ice House is actually the brainchild of two teams that came together. Team Space Exploration Architecture and Clouds Architecture Office. So they ended up building a team of about 12 different scientists. There were astrophysicists, geologists, structural engineers, and 3D printing engineers. As I said, the design does have to heavily rely on using natural Martian resources. So what their plan is, is to land on the Albamans volcano in Mars, where they know that there's a lot of subsurface ice. And Lander would come down, as it landed, it would create a crater, hopefully exposing some of this ice, and they would just build right on top of that. So they really are kind of trying to kill two birds with one rocket here by having that thing come down and do a lot of the excavation for them. The next step is to release little robots that go down and excavate ice and water from the crater and kind of build a, um, a foundation. Next, they inflate a fluorine-based plastic membrane that's see-through, and it's enforced with dynamia. It's like one of the world's strongest synthetic materials we have and they make a bubble. Now the initial robots that were outside, they actually stay outside of this membrane because they don't want to contaminate the inside. But then the lander releases 3D printer robots which start printing a space station. And they're using a composite of aerogel, water, and fiber to print this space station. Because of course they've landed on the water and the ice and they can harvest that. In the grand perspective of this space station, these robots are actually kind of small. And this is awesome. What they do is, as they print these walls, they actually print a track for themselves to drive on. So so they are printing the walls, driving on a track, they spiral, 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 spiral. They are literally printing the tracks that they drive on into the walls so they can keep driving up and up and up. And the pressure that's around these robots makes it so that ice just sublimates and immediately turns into a gas. So in many ways, these robots are kind of cold welding this structure together. So we've got a 3D printed ice space station protected by a membrane. But there's even more going on here. There's hydroponic gardens that are going to be built. There's vertical towers where people can live. And I can't wait to talk about all of those details. We're going to do a part two, and I'm going to be back on Friday, and we're going to discuss all of the inner mechanics. I can't wait to tell you about it, and we're going to do it on Friday. How do you feel? Are you excited about this? I obviously am. Let me know how you feel about all this in the comments down below, or you can tweet it to us at Technophiles Pod. Find us on iTunes, Stitcher, YouTube, Facebook by searching Technophiles, or go to our actual website, technophilespodcast.com. Calm. All right, guys, I'm serious. I'll see you on Friday. This is, I cannot wait. All right, everybody, I hope you liked the video. If you did, be sure to click like down below. That would be super awesome. You can always subscribe right here or uh, check out these other videos. We've actually got Nate over here talking about the water on Mars discovery. Super awesome. And I'm talking about the Soon app over here, it looks like, which is also pretty cool. All right, guys, Friday, Friday, Friday. See you then.